Welcome to the online presentation of the Castleberry Connected Learning Project Student and Parent Orientation. My name is Brandon Enos and I will be your presenter today. Dr. Julie Davis, the principal at Castleberry High School, and I, Brandon Enos, assistant principal and campus netbook coordinator, look forward to having all 9th through 12th graders being issued their own netbook or notebook. In addition, I would like to mention several of the members of the technology department for Castleberry that are also directly related to the Connected Learning Project. Renee Smith Faulkner is the Assistant Superintendent of Technology Services. She has been the Director or the Assistant Superintendent of Technology Services for 14 years. Her vision for technology has led our district to have a model technology campus. This year, Stephanie Martinez has joined the technology department and will be the technology coach at the high school. She will work with the students and the teachers as they continue to integrate the use of the netbooks into the curriculum for each class. Eric Eads is the campus netbook technical support. He maintains and repairs all the student netbooks and notebooks at the high school and is also responsible for the student login accounts. The netbook workroom and imaging room is located downstairs in room 25. Joshua Wirtz is the campus technical support. He maintains and repairs all staff technology equipment at the high school. If you Google, why do students need netbooks at school? You will get a list of many articles on why student netbooks enhance the learning environment. On this slide, you see one example. This article from USA Today quotes Mark Hess, the principal of Sarah Banks Middle School in Wix Wixom, Michigan, as saying, We would never send our own kids to pediatricians that were practicing medicine from the 70s and 80s. Why would we send our kids to schools that are practicing instructional techniques that are decades old? If we did that, it would be educational malpractice. Another article from Inside Higher Ed states, that after issuing laptops to students, principals saw improved grades, test scores, a boost in critical thinking skills, and an increase in student collaboration. Renee Smith Faulkner, the Assistant Superintendent of Technology Services, states, the Castleberry Connected Learning Project will provide students with the mobile connectivity to limitless information that enables them to become self-empowered learners. The district has purchased Acer and Toshiba netbooks for this project. Each netbook comes with a power cord, a netbook bag. The netbooks are imaged with either Windows 7 or Windows 8.1. Each have an integrated webcam along with Skype software for collaboration. Office 2013 application software, including OneNote, Adobe Creative Cloud applications, a variety of internet browsers including Safari, Internet Explorer, and Firefox, a wireless card so that students can connect to the CISD network, a Wi-Fi connection at home, or any other Wi-Fi wi hotspot. The students will be able to check out ebooks from the Castleberry High School Library and read those on their network. Each student will be given a gaggle login so that they can access online classrooms and their school email account. Synchronization of my documents allows for access to documents saved on school server when away from school. There are two common reasons that a netbook will not connect to a wireless network. First off, the wireless card could be turned off. Another reason could be that a local policy on the CISD network has not been updated. To reconnect, it is best to completely restart your netbook so that it powers all the way down and then restarts. If that does not solve the problem, then you will need to connect the netbook to the teacher's data cord and then restart the computer and log in. This will update any local policies on the netbook. As part of the Connected Learning Project, there are some terms that must be met in order for a student to be issued a netbook. First, students and parents must participate in the netbook orientation 
either at one of the des designated meetings or by watching this online presentation. A $30 non-refundable deposit must be paid to Mrs. Villarreal. If a payment of the $30 deposit is an issue, please contact Dr. Davis or myself, and if all requirements are met, a payment plan will be created for you. All students must comply with a responsible use policy for Castleberry ISD, as well as the Student Code of Conduct. If any netbooks are damaged, lost, or stolen, fines and fees will be assessed. A list of these fines will follow. Notice that if a netbook is stolen, parents must provide a police report to me, Mr. Enos, and then a $50 deductible will be assessed and must be paid in full to receive another netbook. Along with being issued a netbook comes the responsibility of being a good digital citizen. When students use their netbooks at school, they should be used for identified educational purposes. Although the netbooks do include Skype and messaging tools, these tools are to be used to enhance the learning environment and used appropriately during instructional time. Inappropriate use could forfeit the privileges of utilizing the netbook. There will be several netbook inspections throughout the school year. If there are any missing components, students will be requir required to replace those if they have been lost. Students with any damages will be subject to the fines listed in the student netbook handbook. Intentional damage to a netbook will be required to be paid full for the repair. Here is the list of fines. This list is also found on page 9 of the student netbook handbook. Missing keys or broken keyboard is $10. Lost or damaged netbook bag is $25. Lost or damaged power cord, $15. Great image to reconfigure the netbook is $25. It's $50 if your lid or case is broken. Cracked or damaged screen is $75. $75 if you have a damaged battery. Full netbook replacement costs $300 if you have a 10 inch screen and $335 if you have one of the 11 inch screens. Every student netbook is imaged with light speed filtering software. This software will filter internet use at school and at home. Teachers may find internet sites that are useful and appropriate for lessons in their classrooms that are being blocked. Teachers can request that these websites be unblocked for student use. Students are prohibited to use a proxy to bypass the filtering that is in place. Doing so will result in a referral to the office and the consequences listed in the student code of conduct will be followed, including suspension of login account and or the retrieval of netbook. The Lightspeed filtering software allows the district to monitor internet usage through the student logins on their computer. If there is suspicion of inappropriate internet use, a log can be printed out of all the sites the student has visited. In order to stay in compliance with the Child Internet Protection Act, or CIPA, the school district must provide this filtering to help protect students from being able to access inappropriate websites. Castleberry is CIPA compliant. There are several items that students are responsible for. Students must bring their netbooks every day to school and must be carried in the netbook bag provided. All labels on the netbook, the bag, and the power cord must stay affixed. Students must not loan their netbooks or any of the components of their netbooks to anyone. Students must bring their netbooks with the battery fully charged. Teachers will have extension cords in their classrooms. These can be used if the batteries begin to die towards the end of the day. Netbooks and power cords are each assigned by serial numbers. At the end of the year, netbooks will be returned and serial numbers will be checked. Report missing netbooks or components to me, Mr. Enos, immediately. 
If the netbook is stolen, a police report must be provided by the parent to document evidence of theft. If the netbook is deemed intentionally damaged, the student is responsible for the cost of the repair or the entire replacement. Students must clear fines in the office with Mrs. Villarreal within 30 days. Each student is issued an email account through Gaggle. Students are not allowed to use personal email accounts while at school. Students are only permitted to use their Gaggle email accounts while at school. The Gaggle email account can also be accessed from home as well. This email account is filtered to prevent inappropriate content from being sent. Parents also have some responsibility in this project. Parents must participate in the netbook orientation and agree to the terms in order for a student to be issued a netbook. Parents are also responsible for monitoring student use of the netbook while at home. If a netbook is stolen, the parent is required to obtain a police report and bring that police report to me, Mr. Enos. If the netbook is documented as stolen, then the student will only be charged a $50 deductible instead of the full cost of the netbook. On the CISD website, there is a link to the Connected Learning page. There you can obtain a copy of the Student Netbook Handbook and a list of frequently asked questions. To access this website, go to the CISD webpage and under the student link on the menu list, click on Connected Learning. On the Connected Learning website, you can download a copy of the Student Netbook Handbook and also a copy of the signature page on the back of the handbook. Both the student and the parent must sign the signature page upon completing this presentation. The form should be returned to my office at Castleberry High School. The $30 non-refundable deposit should be paid to Mrs. Villarreal in the principal's office. If you have any questions, please email me and I will get the answers for you. Remember to sign and return the signature page on the handbook as well as pay the $30 non-refundable deposit so that your child can be issued their netbook for the school year. Thank you for watching this presentation about the Connected Learning Project.